Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will explore the second episode of Hampi series that is Vitala Temple. Vitala Temple is among the best places to see in Hampi. The temple is located bit away from the center of Hampi which spreads over acres of land. The entry to the temple is long that you might need to take an electric golf cart. But I would recommend to walk as it's hardly a kilometer long. Also, you will be able to visit few temples, Pushkarani, and see beautiful scenery while you walk. The temple is dedicated to Lord Vitala. an incarnation of lord vishnu the temple was originally built in the 15th century ad by king devaraya ii one of the rulers of the vijayanagara empire many successive kings have enlarged the temple campus during their rule to what it is today you can even see the remains of a township called vitalapura that existed around the temple complex The highlight of the Vitala temple is its impressive pillared halls and the stone chariot. The halls are carved with an massive array of sculptures on the giant granite pillars. The stone chariot located inside the campus is almost an iconic structure of Hampi. On entering through this massive tower The first thing draws your attention would be a series of compact platforms along the central axis of the campus. At the end of this platform stands the stone chariot. The stone chariot was built in the 16th century by the orders of King Krishna Devaraya of Vijayanagara Empire. The ruler is said to have been impressed by the Sun Temple of Konark during the war with Kalinga. and wanted to recreate a similar one in Hampi. The chariot is meant to represent the beauty and artistic perfection of the empire. The stone chariot in Hampi is one of the three most popular stone chariots in India. The government of India also took the decision of printing this chariot on the new version of the 50 rupee note. The massive sculpture of Garuda, Lord Vishnu's escort, once was seated atop the chariot, but it is empty today. One should observe the base of the chariot, which depicts the mythical battle scenes in its finest details. The chariot has elephants seated, but you can clearly observe the back legs and tails of the horses behind the elephants. In fact, these elephants were brought from elsewhere and positioned here at later stage. As per the local legends, the world would come to a halt when the chariot moves from its place. On leaving the stone chariot, you will reach the main hall in front of the Vitala temple. This hall, though partially damaged, is still amazing. Facing the stone chariot, a series of steps give access to this elevated open hall called Mahamantapa. The main highlight of the Mahamantapa is its richly carved monolithic pillars. The outermost pillars are popularly called the musical pillars. These slender and short pilasters carved out of the giant pillars emit musical tones when tapped. These tones might not be belonging to the seven musical notes but the musical tone of the vibes earned its the name. Unmindful curiosity of the visitors has damaged many of these pilasters and tapping on it is banned for the sake of preservation. Very beautiful to see. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes of Hampi series. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like comment and subscribe for more videos